Welcome back friends and today we're talking about how to do redondo. Redondo means circle or round and it refers to a strike that uses your whole arm and stays on one side of your body, either on the forehanded side or on the backhanded side. I'm going to recommend warming up before you start doing all of these redondos. Um, there's a lot of joint motion going on, there's a lot of muscle involved, uh, and warming up is just a good idea. If you don't, you get things like this happening, where my tricep cramped up while I was shooting video. The first one is these shoulder rotations. Uh, you're going to pull your shoulders as high up as you can, as far forward, as low as you can go, and as far back, making a circular motion forward and going backward. A lot of people don't do these ones, and I and I wish they did because they're really good for uh, the health of your shoulders, your shoulder blades, all the muscles in that area. The second one is a little more well-known arm rotations. Circling the arms from the shoulder, going forward, and going back. Okay, get a stick and let's get started. As mentioned, it starts at the shoulder and you cut downwards, keeping your hand on the same side of the body the whole time. This goes for both the forehanded and backhanded versions. One thing to watch out for with Redondo is leg placement. If your foot is forward on that side, there is the possibility that you're going to hit your own leg. This might not be such an issue with backhands because this is a really awkward setup, so it probably just won't happen in real life. So, if at all possible, keep your leg back. This really lets you generate a lot more power because you don't have to worry about keeping your leg safe. You also see this in the Thai weapons art, Krabi Krabong. And we have a very powerful overhead strike called Hua. And it's essentially the same, or virtually identical, to Redondo. And the same principle applies. To keep your leg from getting hit by your own stick or sword, you need to keep it back and out of the way. There's a related technique, and I don't really have a Filipino term for it. Uh, in French it's called a mouliné, and it's a wrist-oriented uh, strike, moving circular like a Redondo. The reason I'm mentioning this, first of all, it's a mouliné is a good technique to use, but second of all, I don't want you to confuse the two. Redondo uses the full arm and a lot of shoulder power. Uh, mouliné is more of a sniping motion. They can be used together, but they're not the same thing. In addition to practicing Redondo, I'm going to give you a bunch of combinations to work your way through. First one, hand sniping with the Moulin A, and then finish off your opponent with the Redondo. And of course, the Wittick and the Redondo. This one's actually kind of common. Uh, the Wittick to block a strike or snipe at the hand, and then the Redondo uh, as the power strike. You can also do the Wittick and the Moulin A together as a doubled up hand snipe. These next uh, combinations are going to take a little bit more cultivation. Um, Redondo followed by either a power forehand or a power backhand. Here's what they look like at full speed and power. Make sure you're keeping a good grip throughout, otherwise something in your neighborhood is going to get hit by a flying stick. Here's how the combination works. As your Redondo comes up at the end of the strike, it's in a natural position to be caught by your free hand and then both hands work synergistically to pull and push your strike through. Like I said before, this does require some cultivation, although most people find the backhand is easier to pick up, uh, the forehand takes a little more work. As always, you're going to want to do Carenza as well. There's no use putting the effort in um, developing a redondo strike, but you never learn to integrate it with your other moves, and Carenza really is the way to make this happen. Alright, there you have it. Redondos, forehand and backhand. 
methods to warm up, methods to cultivate your strikes, and some combinations you can work in. I've mentioned Redondo in a bunch of my other videos, so I'm hoping you're going to check those out as well to get more information. You might like this one, or you might like this one.